Greetings, family. As you are aware, our Quiet Time series have been based on Ephesians chapter 4, verses 5 to 6, that tells us that there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Our title for today is Live by Faith. All over the scriptures, we are flooded with stories of men and women who followed God from Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden to the first century Christians. Following God has been and will always be a challenge because of the natural differences between God, who is spirit, and man, who is a physical and spiritual being. In Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 to 27, it says, So in Christ, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. When we became Christians, it was an entrance into a new way of life. We became of God, children of God, through faith. We started off with faith and we are to continue till the end to live by faith because we have been clothed with Christ. Now this does not happen naturally or automatically. The focus here is to live a life of following Christ, which boils down to obedience. We'll look at a few examples of our role models. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 to 40 is a showcase of great heroes of faith. What can we learn from them? They trusted and committed themselves to a God they could not see. As they walked in obedience, they experienced His grace and power in their lives. With all kinds of challenges and oppositions to their faith, they did not waver, but they persevered in hope. They were certain of their future in Him, even though they could not see it at that moment. John 14 verses 23 to 24 describes this uh, and the importance of loving God's word. Jesus replied, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. My father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. God is calling us to the same faith as our forefathers in the faith. Consider the fact that most of them did not have the written word in their days. Yet, they were somehow able to discern and hear God, experience His power, see His splendor and majesty, and they earnestly sought to obey Him and put faith, put their faith in Him. What we can learn from the lives of these heroes of faith is that faith becomes stronger through perseverance. It's easy to have faith when we get what we want, but real faith is shown and grown when we hold on to our faith when we don't get what we want or think that we need. In my life, the greatest test of my faith was when I was a single and things did not seem to be working out in my marriage. I questioned God and felt that He was not blessing me in this area even after I had given up so much to serve Him. I thought about leaving the ministry, moving back to the U.S. It was a battle and I even fell sick in the process and needed to be hospitalized. The Holy Spirit would in that time convict me as I went to the scriptures, as I pleaded with God to change my heart. My attitude um, changed and I decided to submit to God. After that, God worked in amazing ways. And now 22 years later, I am so glad that I did not give up. 
by faith. 1 Peter chapter 1 in verse 6 says, In this you greatly rejoice, though for now, for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This passage says that your faith is of greater worth than gold. Gold has to be pure to be used. For gold to be purified, it has to be put in the fire at high temperatures. Faith too has to be refined to be useful for us to live. Faith that is purified through the furnace of tests, struggle, and perseverance will result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus is revealed. Don't be fooled by the world's picture of a happy life. Living by faith in Jesus and obeying Him will result in inexpressible and glorious joy. Today's action plan. Decide to live by faith. Confess your faithlessness to God and decide to repent. Pass on the stories of your faith victories to your children. Tell them about the ways that you persevered and how God came through in amazing ways. Amen.